How to convert Wix website to PDF. Hello everybody and welcome to our channel Web Wix. Today you're going to learn how to convert Wix website into PDF document. So please watch till the end to properly understand the tutorial. So basically what we are going to show you today is for instance here I'm going into my website let's see this is my site I'm going to click into edit site in order to make the preview of my website okay so this is it by now I'm not gonna have different tabs I'm just gonna make this like for the example of this video so I'm going to click on preview and obviously if I click on it this is going to let me go into a different part of the website because probably I oh don't know yes these are different tabs okay so first of all the way that we're going to make our PDF conversion is like taking a lot of screenshots to our website in order to then with the same software or perhaps a website if you need that help to combine those documents so for instance here in Mac in the same preview you're gonna be able to combine the screenshots but perhaps in Windows or some other platforms you're gonna have like to need this help of this website whose name is secta.com and there you're going to be able to upload a lot of different screenshots in order to combine them, okay? So, there is an option to convert, but you can also merge different pages and images and so on. Here, you could take a screenshot with a shortcut here in MacBook, who is Command Shift and the number 3. And there's my screenshot. But probably I want to give you the advice that, for instance, I want my screenshot go from this title, my site, until the end of this image. And if I try just to scroll and to see if there is like a match there, there's not going to be anything to help me. So what you can do is to press the shortcut command and the hyphen and in that way you're going to be able to make the zoom or anti-zoom or also you have here in the URL bar that option oh okay I don't have it anymore but here in the three dots you have the option to zoom so here you have to make it a little smaller or a little bigger or to exit from the full screen so by now I'm going to make it a little smaller so in that way I will I'm going to have my title and this entire image in the same screenshot so I'm gonna take it again I recommend you for instance here on MacBook to let this thumbnail to disappear because if you take the screenshot with this on it the thumbnail is gonna appear okay so let's wait just a few seconds okay now it's removed and let's take the screenshot again also, I recommend you if you are trying to make a lot of screenshots into you, to your web page to make these screenshots in the same uh, zoom, okay, in the same value. So I'm gonna make the second one. Obviously, in the future, we're gonna be able to crop those parts that we are not interested in. So let's try now with the services. Okay, I'm going to make it like this. And just to finish these screenshots. And that's it. I'm not going to include these items. So, you have those for documents. So, I'm going to show you how to do it with the preview of your Mac first of all. So, here we are into my desktop. So, basically, I guessed the default place where our screenshots are gonna be saved it's in the desktop all you you can also watch into the reasons documents so these are my screenshots so basically 
I'm going to open the first one. Okay, this was bigger, so I'm going to erase this. I have just four documents, so if I open this, I'm going to have this. And I guess you can make the same into a different editor. And into view, I'm going to see the thumbnail. So I'm going to have this left menu. And what I'm going to do is to click this and drag and drop into this part, as you can see. Okay, you can reorganize the pages if you want to. So I have by now my document. This is not the end because as I told you, you need to crop these pages. So here in preview, you must click here and then into crop. So I'm going to select the image that I want to show. And now may click here and crop. And that's it. You can make the same with all the pages. I'm just going to make it with two just for make the example. Okay, this is it. And crop. And the advantage with this preview software here in our Mac is that we're going to be able to do it in the same computer and also to hide the mouse because as you can see my pointer is really big but in any of these images is my course so that's the advantage okay once you have done all the crops with your images you must to tap in file and then export as pdf or also the option print i used to use this print option so don't worry if you have the pages like this because you must click here in PDF, save as PDF, and I'm going to save it into my desktop as screenshots. Okay, I'm going to save it, and that's it. So if I go again into my Finder desktop screenshots and I open this into my preview, I'm going to have my PDF file. If you have this problem, don't worry, because remember, this is a PDF, so probably this is going to be an A4 page. So what you need to do is to change the direction of your pages. Okay, and in that way, you're going to have your website, Wix website, into a PDF file, as you can see. But if you don't have that option into your computer, you're going to be able to use Secta, as I told you in the beginning of the video. So I'm going to click on Merge, and I'm going to upload a PDF or images files. So I'm going to make click here, go into my desktop, select my screenshots, and there it is. I can add some more files, add pages, or reorder it. But by now, I'm going to make click here on Merge PDF Files. Okay, the process has been completed. And here in Secta.com, we have the same option as I was showing you in the preview of our Macs. So, if I go, let's make this one and select the option to crop. The page is going to start loading. I don't know why, but I have some troubles. Perhaps the website is not working properly by now, but I can select the preview pages and choose crop areas. I'm going to continue. And now I can select my image. This has combined all my screenshots. So by now this is not gonna work properly because remember I made some crops in the preview, but I'm going to choose this part and click on crop PDF, okay? But as I told you, I don't know why there is a like error here in the web page. So by now I'm not gonna be able to do that. No worries if you have different like sizes in your pages because you can select page by page and make it with this, okay? So you can select this and change the values if you want and crop PDF. But by now, as I told you, I'm not gonna be able to show you that. But once you have done all that, you're going to be able to download your PDF file. So in that way, you're going to have 
your web website into a PDF document. So that's it. Thanks for watching.